Today we are here to do something fun. It's called TripAdvisor versus Locals. A lot of you guys, when you travel, you use TripAdvisor for your tourist advice. But the places there are actually quite different from what the locals actually go to. So today, we're trying to find out the difference between TripAdvisor and Locals. You guys are going to have to vote and tell us who won. And then there will be a prize and kind of a penalty for the <laughs> next episode. <laughs> if there is one. Okay, so off you go. Is that red velvet, Irene? Stop <laughs> it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here at this place called Chiang or Taste and we're now uh, waiting for our uh, meal to arrive. It oh, means yeah. taste. It means yeah, it taste. Means it's taste. Korean it's Chiang. And I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, cheese tteokbokki. Woohoo! Sweet seafood, right? Yeah. I've never seen tteokbokki with ricotta cheese. Wanna try? Tteokbokki 먹는 방법. Like a shark. Deal. And that is the gochujang samgyeopsal pasta. Yeah, gochujang is like Korean traditional sauce. Oh, yeah. hey, hey. And pork belly, right? Yeah, pork belly with pasta. Yeah. A little bit spicy, but I think if you ask for a little like less spicy, then I think they will do it for you. And you have to try the pasta. I think pasta is my favorite. And we also have this dish plate with bulgogi with a lot of side dish. Small little piece. No oh, big, big piece. Big, big piece. No, small piece. No. No. Put some veggies and of course a lot of kimchi. <laughs> I mean, this is Damon's sweet Put a bit of sauce, then you're gonna make it as small as possible. <laughs> what, what is up, dogs? Quack, quack, quack. We're gonna have lunch. Oh, it's gloomy! <laughs> the weather is and so gloomy. We're using TripAdvisor to give us mm -hmm. some suggestions, and we're gonna go to Maple Tree House Itaewon. I've actually passed this place uh, like multiple times when Me I've too, been to Itaewon, right? but I've never actually been here. Uh -huh. And I always see a lot of tourists. A lot of foreigners, foreigners coming there. here. It has 380 reviews on 388. Interesting take on Korean BBQ. Great place for Korean BBQ. Delicious Korean BBQ. So we're gonna have Korean BBQ, I yeah. guess, today. So and this is the this, this is the place. This is the place. So yeah. as you can see. Oh, the, the place that you never go to, right? Like we never go into that place. This is a sim symbolic. When you talk about this, mm -hmm. like the green glass bottles, everybody knows it, but yeah. nobody actually knows this place. I always notice foreigners eating here. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of foreigners. There's a variety of meat, Korean BBQ. There's also bibimbap. Now we're gonna have Korean BBQ here for that because obviously everyone else is having Korean BBQ as well. grill it for you so I, I think that's why foreigners might like it it might be a new thing for you grilling a uh, Korean BBQ so you might burn it but here they grill it for you Oh, 
Kaka. Ka. Oh. 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 Taste, I would say it's uh, 4.5 out of 5. It's one of the best tastes I've ever tasted among bulgogi. And the side dishes are very high quality as well. But the only thing that this restaurant lacks is the quantity. We ordered two, two servings, and we're still hungry. <laughs> we're still hungry. Yeah, it's sincere. <laughs> They're like saying like, oh yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is a tourist place because TripAdvisor is recommending it to us. Yeah, sure. But the food yeah, was really good. It's just like right. a kind of a rip-off. Kind of a rip-off. Right. It's very yeah. expensive. Well, like places in that street is always rip-off, right? Yeah, it's yeah. very expensive. Yeah. For your information, we ordered only three plates and it was full. How much was it? I don't think it was more expensive than the Prugal Week. For a plate, it was like 15 to 20 dollars. To be honest, I prefer Yuhu's uh, restaurant. Yeah. 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 And the interior, you know, the sofa and table was like really pretty. Okay, I don't really care about that. But oh, why? That's <laughs> right. it, looks, it looks tasty. They it care. Looks tasty. Game over. <laughs> okay. So they're gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I just found out that they're giving away 101 goods. Maybe there's a concert here. But it's not normal book places. It's like, it's really. Sorry, you bought a book. Stylish book. People even read books here? They yeah, buy books. Really? Okay. And read books. And read books. Yeah. And they, they're doing kinky boots now. Yeah. So, this is actually like a concert hall. Mm -hmm. But there's. Like, there's a bistro, there's a bookstore up here, and there's 101. And there's it's guy at the here. back. So it's like culture plex, right? Mm -hmm. Culture plex, all in one. Okay, so we are here at Blue Square Book Park. And actually, it's like a concert hall, but they built a really huge this bookstore slash library in the building. So there are many books, as you can see. Mm. This is one of my favorite places in Seoul because it's really chilling and quiet. As you can see right there, you can go upstairs and read books. It's my favorite food. Mmm, good book. You're not reading any books. No, you're no, just... no. I'm already reading a book. No, you're just What's the title? showing off. What's the title? What's the, the title? Great Gatsby. What's the main character's name? Gatsby. No, no, <laughs> not Gatsby. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> <laughs> we are here at the War Memorial. We just finished our lunch. It was a very good meal. And this is actually recommended as a very popular activity on TripAdvisor. It has a lot of reviews. 3,629 reviews. 4.5 stars out of 5. It is actually one of the most popular activities to do in Seoul for TripAdvisor. So and it's right next to yes, Itaewon, so yes, it's, it's like a walking close. distance. Yes, it's like 10 minute walk. Yeah. And people are saying impressive quality effects and care about the details, a great place to mm, learn about Korean history, okay. must go museum. I have never been to this place since I was, since I yeah. graduated from elementary school. <laughs> this is actually the first time we're going since a very long time. Yeah. I've been here like when I was when in I was elementary like school. Uh -huh. Yeah, so 
actually I feel very bad about it because a lot of foreigners are visiting and I see right. a lot of foreigners but right. not a lot of Koreans. Most of the exhibitions here are about the Korean War because that is the biggest war that happened in Korea. This was used in the Korean War to carry our, um, you know, ammo and supplies to the front lines because 70% of Korean land is made of mountains so it's very difficult to actually build roads for cars and stuff like that, trucks. So they actually had to use this manpower and carry it over mountains. We won this yeah, one. Yeah, I think we won this one. The bookstore looks good, but like to be honest, you can see the bookstores all around. Yeah, so I don't have to go to Itaewon to buy books. Well, you can see the waiting line for the one on one goods. You can see the waiting line? <laughs> yeah, the War Memorial Museum is a place that you should go to. And after yeah. they come to the bookstore. But if you're, no, if you're a foreigner, you might have to think twice because you can't read Korean. So you'll end up just oh. taking Instagram pictures. Well, that's worth it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's the reason you go there. Okay. Next, we went to a cafe. <laughs> Next, we went to cafe. I went to a very popular spot recommended by TripAdvisor. Trip Surprisingly, <laughs> it was a very surprising spot. At the end of the day, yeah, we've been to the war museum and that was very touching. Yes. You know, the, the pain of our ancestors our and ancestors. the soldiers. And now Korea is very big in cafes as well. So we're gonna have a little bit of coffee. And Trip Advisor is surprisingly suggesting we go to Coffee Smith Itaewon. What? It has 37 <laughs> views, four wow. out of five coffee stars. Coffee Smith. And this is basically like a Starbucks. Yeah. It's like a ch it's big a franchise. Chain. Very nice interior. Nice ambience, mm. great coffee, and amazing well, vibe. I guess foreigners like it then. I mean, like oh, it's, it's very, it's, it's very, it's normal. Very big. It's very normal to Korean, but <laughs> it's okay. It's like let's I mean, chill, let's chill. You know, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad or anything, but it's like you know, you're saying this to a Starbucks basically. It's, yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's similar to going to going to the Starbucks in Seattle or something. Yeah. So where is this place? So this place is called Old Fairy Donut mm -hmm. Cafe mm -hmm. and it's really famous for like little pink donut and it's really pretty and delicious. But is it close? No, no, no. It's like upstairs. Oh, okay. I thought it was close. Keep spinning. <laughs> Yay! If you break it, you have to pay it. That's cool. <laughs> So this is it guys. Traditional Korean boat or whatever. Oh 
we have a waiting list? Just spell my name wrong. Oh, oh they have a waiting list, list for a cafe? Yeah, because yeah, it's really, really a it's popular, popular place. Oh, yeah. so, i never been to a cafe with a waiting list. So obviously, the guy back doesn't even know my name. <laughs> Alright, it's such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> we have like matcha donut, coconut donut, peanut butter donut, raspberry and turmeric. <laughs> okay, so we have this donut latte and marshmallow latte and tiramisu big donut. That's good to say, huh? And again, we have this mini miniature coconut, raspberry and marshmallow donut. <laughs> the remains, only one left, all inside here. You guys saw everything, including Kevin's crotch. <laughs> How did you guys enjoy the trip overall? It was satisfying. It was above satisfying. Do you guys usually go to these kind of places? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> Wait, well, but maybe not so much. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, maybe you. I do. <laughs> I would think. My girlfriend. How about Damon? They, they, I don't know. <laughs> they, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I go to the War Memorial. <laughs> I mean, I'm a local, but I also, also don't go to those kind of places. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. I, But you don't go to coffee sometimes either. Yeah, you don't go to War Memorial too. I don't go outside of it. <laughs> it's fun seeing like what the tourists actually see uh, in their eyes, how they view Itaewon as. Very different from what I viewed it as or what other locals viewed it as. Because for me, Itaewon is like... Just bars <laughs> and clubs. For me, Itaewon was all about cafes. It's, there's really a lot of famous and popular cafes in Itaewon that you guys might not know of when you're only looking at the TripAdvisor. If you guys would just like, stroll down the street and go to some random place and it will be good, like, I promise. Guys, there you go. You guys saw TripAdvisor versus Locals. And we're gonna open up a poll uh, down in the link below. Uh, it's gonna be in the comments. And basically, you guys are gonna have to vote which tour you wanna go on, uh, TripAdvisors or Locals. And the winner will have an extended budget on the next episode <laughs> of, Please us. of an enormous budget of $30 enormous. per person. Wow. I don't want to go standards. to crappy places with that. <laughs> then <laughs> the loser will have $5 <laughs> per person. Where do you go with So, $5? yes, $5 per what person. What do you do with that? No, why do you like, already think that you're going to lose? Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, guys, you guys are going to have to vote. Uh, we'll open the poll for a while. And um, it's gonna be in the comments below. Uh, get to that link, and then you're gonna go onto our Twitter account, and then go to another link because uh, we want you to follow us on Twitter. <laughs> so <laughs> go, go check it out, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye.